day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoy our videos and I hope you continue to enjoy our videos. This is part E2. Uh, this is going to be Saturday or Sunday morning that you'll see this one. Uh, this is Father's Day that we did this uh, Bible study. We, we, we're there for a long time. God bless, hallelujah. We do the best we can. There's a lot of good discussion that comes out of it. And we're, re we're feeding off of uh, 1 Samuel chapter 8. Uh, and this one we started wrapping it up. This was a uh, verse 19 chapter 1st uh, Samuel chapter 8 verse 19 is that nevertheless the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel and they said nay we will have a king over us and that's what we talked about last last time we saw this Bible study is the fact is that a lot of cases we want to let the world rule over us and we want uh, some people God bless them they want kings They'll sit there, they'll see things, and, and, and they will subject themselves to, to, to abuse, to dictation, dictatorship, and anything else. For, I don't know what reason for that. I can't tell you. Because God is our king. And we're here to serve one another, to love one another. And we want to be great. We're going to be great by serving the world. You're great by serving the family, your family to have. You're great by serving your friends. You're great by serving your country. We talk about the fact that Kennedy said, that's not what, what the country can do for you, but that's what you can do for the country. Because that's what it's all about. What we're doing for, you are the servant. And you what? The Bible is saying, give and it shall be given. If you give love, you give servanthood, you'll be served. God and love you. But we have a tendency to try to be and do it our way, in the world's way. And I guarantee you, the world gets in the way and the world does not really have a pleasant because the world system is more selfish. And whether you like it or not, that's the truth. And whether we want to be successful or not, it's going to be based on the fact is that we learn to love one another. That's what God wants us to do. Love one another. And you'll be amazed. Amen? So one of the things that it says in verse 20, that we may also be like all the nations and that our kings may judge us. No, in fact, it's a king too. Our king will judge us and go before us and fight our battles. And I don't know about you, but what king does that? I ain't seen him. A king doesn't normally go in front of the battle. There's some, some that, matter of fact, the ones that did do that were considered great kings. They go and fight and forward, lead the charge. But someone online got a little further back and said, well, you know, you, 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 we can't afford you to die in this battle. And most people die the first wave of the attacks anyway. So once you start becoming lead from the rear, and after a while, so you, you you leave from your castle. We, we're the ones on the front line doing all the battles and suffering. I bet you, matter of fact, if the world get it, the world changes where it does let them lead up front, I guarantee it won't be no war. I guarantee it won't be no long wars. I guarantee the battles will be over quick. Because you know about what, you know, if somebody get a leader, they ain't going to sit there and say, say, oh, Lord, I don't want to be here. We got to get this. We got to fight for peace. And to get to see it and live it. But we don't move to the point where that's not happening. And that's the world system. But God's way is, do we the greatest? You serve everybody. In verse 21, and Samuel heard all the words of the people, and he re re rehearsed them in the ears of the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, hearken unto their voice, and make them a king. And Samuel said unto the men of Israel, go ye every man into his own city, because they, God will give them North them king. And that guy was called Saul. That was the first king. The second king became David, who was after the heart of God, just like those judges supposed to be. And Samuel was, but not his sons. And every time we pervert ourselves in ministry, as a father or as a mother, as children, 
as police officers, federal government, state officials, federal officials, would we convert or pervert our, our way of doing things? People want to go back or get something else because that system is no longer uh, effective. But it's effective when we serve on that, amen? So I hope you enjoyed the series. I thought it was a very good series. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again for our next week. Uh, I don't know what God will lead us to, but this is what we led this week. You want to be a servant? Be serving one, amen? All right, love one another. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you next week, amen? God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. Amen? Yeah, man. You know, and then the final one I just want to throw at you is I, I was listening to the uh, bill debate yesterday, uh, C-SPAN or, uh, C -SPAN or somewhere where they or could have been CNN, where they're trying to do that bill about police reform. And and did anybody watch some of that debate on TV? Or the special? No, I didn't. Well, one of the things uh, Brother Ashton they was trying to put in there was to bring up that, that, that concept of Antifa on there. Oh yeah, and 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 what I what I wanted to throw at you all guys, I want to leave with that because I know we got our uh, people who, who who I don't know what they're doing, but they can listen to this video I want because I, I I support and defend this country now, and and I'll do that for the rest yeah. of my life, and yeah. I believe in the principles of the Constitution. Yes, I do not believe in uh, extremists on any side because we all need to have that right of freedom. But the point was, when they kept bringing the word Antifa up there, and then one of the congressmen said, we need to do more research on it. The research is saying this, what is that organization? Anybody know that? Cause you know, we got we do have a history of the other organization. We got white supremacists, we got KKK. We know what they have done, blown up churches, you know, killed people, put uh, 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 what's cross in front of somebody's yard, lynch people. Uh, we know what the skinheads do, uh, but you know, one of the things about those organizations, they have an infrastructure. Is that true? You know, you got the yeah, great uh, God, United States government. <laughs> you know, that. That my government. I'm part of this government, you are too. <laughs> I know, I appreciate that. <laughs> and, and, and I don't believe that. But my point though is, what infrastructure is that other one? Anybody is there? I know about the Grand Wizard. Who is it? Is there infrastructure for this other group you're talking about? Yeah, they're they're all pretty much based off off of the same thing. You got a leader. Who's the leader? You got. I, I don't know who their their leader is. You are uh, you are you catching where I'm coming from? What do yeah. they have? A treasure? Do they have a do they have a secretary? Do they have a do they have a, a, a home base, a headquarters? Do they? Do you know what? I don't yeah. think they do. If you if you find, I think they do. Look, I saw, you well, saw. I saw a movie about the skinheads, the Aryan Nation. I'm talking about them, and I know they got an infrastructure. Yeah. I'm talking about Antifa. What what infrastructure oh. do you know about? Oh, Antifa. Oh no, no, it's no. Not, I don't know nothing about I don't Antifa. I don't think that's one. What it is 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 an ideal, and their whole purpose yeah. is when the KK show up, that's where they want to go. That's all. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But yet somebody's trying to make that up. You see, what I'm saying. Somebody yeah. A well, they gotta they gotta have something opposing, so exactly. that they can they can point the finger back at something. Yeah, that's all that is. I know it, and well, that's why. Let me let me go grab something for community. Yeah, the congressman said that we need to do more research because I'm sitting there saying, "Elder, where's the infrastructure?" <laughs> you know what the the thing of it is is that with the that advent of the the uh, social media and stuff. It, it's, you don't it need it. You don't need they can do flash, flash mobs or like, you know, I can get on the send out an email blast or a text blast, and I can have a hundred thousand people in one spot any given moment. Based on that idea. Right? Right, based on the idea, and so yeah. I think that's what we're probably looking at. So it's ideologies now that we're fighting. Yeah, well, somebody's <laughs> trying to fight, or somebody's trying to put it in the mix. Yeah, and and, right. and, the, and it's being done every day. It, it, it's, it's propaganda, but it's the same fight that we as Christians have been doing every day as well. It's a propaganda, and that's what I'm trying to say, guys. Is that we're sitting there, and and when you when you we even forget about what the word means, right? But what's bottom line they're saying is, I don't know that that need more research be done 
before you can sit there and call that a group because I don't think it exists. I don't think so, because I don't until you can give me a headquarters, a name and everything else, I don't think it exists. But if you if you can and it's almost like Christianity, um the, the the hardest thing to destroy or to really deal with is an idea. It's an idea. Come on. Yeah, I can I can yeah, you can find if you can find a building or a structure, I can tear that down easy. Woo! But if you infuse an idea into a place, even if it's a lie, it'll have an impact. It's fluid, the the, the overhead is zero. Yeah. The only thing you gotta do like a virus passing on to the next person affect them. And yep. that's what's been happening in the United States of America. A lot of things that's been going on as far as the, the racism and stuff is exaggerated. That I know to be true. Yeah. It's exaggerated. I don't know about the, the virus. I think the virus has an issue. But there is a there's a there's a consorted effort to bring this country to a boiling point. To, and I think I think, think I think it's failing. I thank God because, for that. Because I think I like the peace, peaceful protests. Yes. I like the, you know what, you know, Elder, I started off in the video. I guess y'all was listening because I, I didn't know y'all was there. But what happened to my video? <laughs> anyway, I'm looking over here. Never mind. One second. What'd I do? <laughs> I got to do something. One second, Elder. I'm trying to figure out why my camera is not looking at you guys no more. The live one. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I see, it's black. Anyway, we're finished up. Beautiful. It's 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 a, it's a live one. I'm looking at it. It's showing everything is dark and black. I don't know why. Good God, you don't want to be recognized. <laughs> Maybe somebody look. Somebody was talking, when I was talking about that one group. Somebody was like, they they got a problem with that group. But here's the here's the point I'm trying to say. Uh, what I'm doing here? I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, one second. I'm going to move this camera back. All right. But the point I'm saying is Jesus was killed. You may, If y'all was listening, since I, I didn't see y'all there because I look, I can see I look at the participants now. I don't know when y'all showed up, but when I was looking at it, there was no participant. So then I just put the slides up so I can read them. But here's the point. What was Jesus killed for? What was his crime? As far as the Romans were concerned, well, the Romans were concerned, he had committed a crime. As far as the Jews were concerned, what was the charge of Pontius Pilate put on the cross? King of the Jews. King of the Jews. King of the Jews. What are we trying to say? That was a threat to the system. He was a threat to the system. Oh, yeah. The we system. are a threat to the system. We, that's what you need to understand. And that's why you sit there and take anything on the ideal, especially a good ideal, yeah. becomes a threat that's when right. it goes against the system. Yeah. Peace is a threat to the system. Yeah. War is money. Wars make money. And that's why we talk about a civil war. A civil war was quite profitable to people. It, it was a system. Matter of fact, wars were profitable. Well, well, Addison, why was uh, the, the Black Panther a most wanted thing? Why would they a threat? They were a threat because they used the system for their benefit. They used, and they 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 changed. Well, they went against the the way the system was designed. And that was to oppress a people. Yeah. So they were against a portion of the design of the government. It was a threat against. That's why. Right. In other words, like you said, they use the system to say, you said it's the right to bear arms, so I'm going to bear arms, right? Yeah. It, it, it was a system that was trying to form to fight the system. Yeah. Right? Racism and everything else. Yeah. And I just thought it was ironic that even Jesus, when they went after Jesus, the focus was that Pontius Pilate says, you're a king? And, and, and Jesus sit there and says, Thou sayest I'm a king. Yeah, that's what you say. <laughs> you say, you say. say in another place, he said, For this purpose I was born. But he didn't deny it. But and, what and he it, told him was that his kingdom was not of this world. And, it's, yeah. and the charge was on the, on the cross was King of the Jews. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they, the Jews said that, said, first of, first of all, they said that the crowd that said, is, Siege is our king. But when they saw the charges, they wanted to say, no, right there, he said he is the king of the Jews. Right. 
And if Pondra Powell said, no, no, I can't. Matter of fact, you know what? Pondra Powell did anyway. See, that's not a crime to say something. The yeah. crime is that you are. Yeah. You are claiming to be a system that does not conform, does not subject itself, does not mm. support itself against the world system. And even at first, he just said, you know, that we're not going to kill him. We're just going, we're going to punish him. That's what he said at first. And they were I'm like, no. Dominate him. I want to dominate him. Yeah. They were like, no, kill him. Crucify yep. him. They, the the, the dude, Jews said, it's a threat. crucify him. Right. Kill him. It's a that, that, that's a hard thing, man. That's a threat. Mm -hmm. I just want to let you say, when does it go against the world system? See, the well, it went against the Jew system. Jesus, the, those that were in power, it went against their system. So <laughs> he was a threat to them. Well, yeah. it's, remember, they conformed to the world system. Yes. They submitted themselves to the world system. They they, they said that, that, that the, if he kept doing that, the Romans were going to come and take away their power and their authority. Right. So they, Jesus was a threat, and he really was a threat to the Jewish hierarchy. He was a real threat. Right. And he's a threat to governments now. It said he would be hated, we would be hated among all nations for his namesake. Yes. There's truly power in the name of Jesus. There's power to heal as we've uh, we've already experienced. There's power to deliver. I ain't spent no money on alcohol. And, I mean, on cigarettes in 40 years, it was like 30 some years. Look at all the money that went in another direction. Well, so, what, I guess what I'm gonna say is this. Do what we just walk away with from the concept of the Amen. reverse pyramid, the world system. Remember he said the world will hate you? That's mm -hmm. right. Because you're preaching something that goes against the pyramid. That's right. You're not supporting the top. Now that's what the problem is. Out. You have to support Trump's, the top. Trump's logo now is the inverted Instead of the top supporting you. It's an inverted pyramid. That's one of the things that they put on his campaign posters and stuff now. Is oh, the inverted okay. pyramid. And it was taken out of Germany. It was to mark political uh was that, was, the Jews? Was, was, that was that a symbol for the Jews? Yeah, it was it was marked by, by the Nazis to identify political opponents. Wow. But that is now part of Trump's little, you know, the, like his, his litany of, of, of logos and stuff that he right. built. Up. So it, his his attempts mimic what Hitler did. And see, and that's why I'm telling it you why. Was, was, that's why I can I just I said I leave it. This I think that's why they they try, try to go this this thing called Antifa because they you know when fascism started they scared people right they intimidated right. people. That's what they doing now. There, there was no look at it. There was no opposing group because see the military was separate right the military the government these things were operating outside. Oh, the huh? Your screen froze. Your screen froze. I'm back yeah. yet? So now, to oppose the world system in the United States of America, we gotta bring into this. Am I it, back it, yet? It's us gotta go out there and say, love your enemy. It's us gotta bring peace to the society, and we can do it. We can undermine whatever is happening in the United States right now, as far as destroying this country is concerned. We can actually turn it upside down. We can undo the works of the devil. Am I back yet? You back? It's it's, okay. it's uh, Anderson. Oh, it's, it's screen frozen. Oh, Anderson! I can hear him though. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but but like you said though, that's the point I'm saying is that the this thing I think is why somebody has planned against it is it it shows up when they show up. Is that's what it's supposed to do, right? And that's why they have a problem with it. I think we got to get back to loving your enemy to kill this thing. I really do. I think what we got to take the fire out of it. We got to, we got, we got to pour. Some, the church has to pour the water on it. Right. We got to come together. Unity, black, white, Hispanic, Asian. All of us have got to come together behind the United States flag. We're all patriots. We were all born here. Most of us were anyway. As old as I am, I've been here a lot longer than some of these biggest running around the street. And, we are not the threat. Exactly. But you know what? And that's why I think that why the. Uh, I don't know why the other side is successful, I've been long and living a long time, but that's why the Black Panther was a threat. And that's why this other group now is considered a threat because it's, it's a, it, it does the world system too. It operates from the world system. And we have uh, of not love, but 
force on force, right? You know. And that's why we got to get in there because it'll be used to, yeah. to greater escalate the the, 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 the division. Yeah, and yeah. It to bring the United States of America to a point where she's just dysfunctional. I mean, she's almost destroyed. Right. And if we do that, one of the last strongholds from Christianity is going to be lost. We yeah. still have the right to call on the name of Jesus, to worship Jesus, to, 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 to praise Jesus, to go into these places. That's a lot of the, 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 the pushback as far as our white brothers are concerned and what, what's happening with the government. Yeah. I don't think you're ever going to stop that in the United States of America. We will come to blows if people try to stop us from serving God. I know it's going to happen. Well, see, that's the problem I'm saying is it, and what I want to do, make sure even on this video, that is not effective, blows are blows. It's not. It's, it's the world system. It though. will not be successful. We have to learn, like you said, love one another. Amen, no. man. So, no. Antifa, no. Forget you. Black Panther, forget you. Forget KKK, you. forget you. All these other group, Redskin, Haskin, whatever you call it, forget you. That's right. It's, it's all about the kingdom of God, God, which is to love one another and serve one another. And that, as an ambassador to the United States of America, that is the conversation that we must have. That is the conversation. Of the kingdom, Come on. we have to talk to them along those lines. Come on. We invite them to the kingdom of God, but invite them from the kingdom perspective. Come like, on, that's going to work. <laughs> you, remember Kennedy, you remember Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, but yeah. what you can do for your country. He's basically saying is, ask how you can serve your country. Right. That's the Taylor. If what we're talking about comes to pass, if we're if we're successful at doing this, you will become it will become a threat because the world systems. The way he said it was that Jesus came into the world to undo the work to the devil. Yes. What we're looking at is Satan working at a fever pitch right now to put an end to some of the works of God. Yeah. The United States of America was founded on solid principles. These guys reached, I mean, their, their vision was beyond their grasp at that time, but we kept moving toward it, and that's why I think they did away with slavery, and why they did away with Jim Crow, and why they did away with... The the they going against the concept. That's it right. Going against the, against the idea. The idea. I it's hard to destroy an idea. If that's what they're trying to do right now, is to destroy the idea. Well, some people do. Some people wants to. Yeah, but the, the household of God sees the viability of it, and yeah. we need to support it. All right. I think we give him too much press now because I understand his tactic. Uh, the, he is really a disruptive, hellish individual who is intended to bring this country to his knees. His impact is going to be that, to bring the country to his knees. And we really have to begin to focus on something that's unifying, and that's Christ. The yeah. only, you know something? The United States of America has survived and been as prosperous as it is to me because it has supported God even if it didn't follow him. You exactly. know what I'm saying? I believe we, we came out of the Second World War because we got behind Israel. <laughs> I believe that. I, I'm a personal believer in that. And I know a lot of people hit me for that because they're going like, oh, Israel, they make it, they against, go, go against the Islamics. Well, I'm going to have to take that hit. Because let, let, I want to so I agree with you on that in the one principle, but I think the real reason why because of fight for freedom. That's, that's the whole point, freedom. The right to live, the right to worship. This country is found on the principles of freedom of religion. Oh, I understand what you're saying. See what I'm yeah. saying? It's, yeah. it's in line up with our principles. It's not just that because you got you got you got a group of people that sit there and support a administration. And I I listen, I ain't trying to defend it. I'm just trying to say that just by making the word saying that I've recognized Jerusalem to be the capital of Israel. You, you know, that that's just a word statement. That's rhetoric. You know what I mean? It's just rhetoric. We are what? Whatever, whatever, wherever Israel wants to put its capital, and that's where their capital is. If I, Israel said they move from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, where they put their capital, then that's where their capital is. We don't, we don't, we don't decide that. We we never decided that. It's always been in the hands of the children of Israel. But what was a blessing that came out in 1948 that when the world recognized the nation of Israel again. That's right. And as, as, as the United States of America led that charge, and she emerged number one in the world in all areas. Right. But, 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 but in the validation of scripture that says, he who blesses Abraham, the Lord will bless. Right. So and, we, in a sense, gained some, some, some brownie points. To me, I think we gained some brownie points on that end. 
But as we turn away from God, as we're turning away from God, because I mean, I, I would not follow Jesus' doctrine if I didn't believe it. Yeah. God is real. Jesus is Lord. Yes, and if we move away from him, we are going to experience the repercussions of our, 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 our transgression, in a sense. We yes. are seeing the outcome of black people turning away from God. Yes. We were closer when we were under duress, literally. And I know that because it was observable. We were in church, we were praying more, we were pleading, we didn't have nothing but prayer. Now we got a little bit more going on, and we see our women out twerking, and the dudes' pants dropping, and they got tattoos all over their body, and they serving every God except the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Come on now. Is he really God? I think he proves himself to be God. I don't think he, we have to agree with him, is he God or not? But if we go against him, part of the, the process is to ensure that we come to a knowledge of his sovereignty. Yes. Every knee shall bow, and every, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Now that is a lesson that every last one of us is going to learn, whether we want to or not, whether we agree with it or not, it's still going to come to pass. And I think we're in the process of that taking place. And so as we see people, whether they be black or white, it's, 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 a, it's a national thing, it's an individual thing. If I move away from God on a personal note, I'm going to experience the wrath of that. Yeah. But you know, it as a nation. And I, but well, I just like you said though is we need to have people understand what the kingdom is. Yes. Servants of all. We are servants of one another. Yes. We have to look and care for one another. You and know what's really funny? This nation that we never pose ourselves as a serious offensive threat as a what do you call it? We're not a mortal threat. We're not a um what's the word? We're not a lethal organization. We are supportive. We take care of people. We love people. We we heal people. The same thing that Jesus did. But the deal was that he undermined the power structure, the power base of that kingdom that was in place was being undermined by his benevolence. His benevolence is what undid the works of the devil. His compassion is what undid the works of the devil. And the devil is at a loose in the United States of America, and we can subdue him by showing more compassion, by being more uh, compassionate, by being go, more benevolent, by there being more supportive, by praising him and worshiping him. And that is the thing that's going to be fought against. Because if we can take the fire away from we can take the fuse away from the from the from the from the, from the, the powder keg, his works are not gonna work. He came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And I say in this age, the United States of America, Satan has eyeballed my home and said he's gonna he gonna destroy it. If I follow Christ, we can. It, it can be thwarted. His efforts can be thwarted, but we can't do it aside from that. Exactly. So then, I, I agree with you 100 in that. Yeah, but what he's told me is that, on a personal note, I just need to praise him. <laughs> well, you know what? And also do what you've been doing. I was as good as be a servant. Yeah. Just, just be a servant. Show, show what a bishop elder is is a servant of all. That's you know true. I mean? That's and, it. and you you're witness to many by doing that. Yep. Then as far as us, even this video, this 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 slide part too, we let the people know we first of all, we do love our country and we, we don't we're not gonna go against our country, we're not gonna overthrow our country, we're not we don't care about whether this group or that group, because the only group that really matters is God Almighty, being yes. Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. That is what we stand for. That's yeah. what we care for. So don't those who want to watch, watch the video and understand this. I ain't about politics because it ain't gonna work. It's, yeah. it's gonna what's gonna work is prayer yeah. and yeah. a servant to the community and loving one another. And if there's some problem, let it be a problem. And I said love one another. Whether and I, and I, man or white. And I really do. I mean, I sincerely, I know. It might not sound complimentary some of the things that I see concerning the leadership, but I am concerned about the man's soul. That man that that will, that that will will keep praying for him, right? And, that's, and he is going to lead his prayer. This guy is 77 years old. He's in a highly stressed out job. He's coming down to the end of his, his life. If he does not come to know who Jesus is, in accordance with what I believe in my heart, he's going to die and go to hell. And, and, and that's and, and you agree that applies to everyone across the board. Everybody. That's what we're trying to say. We, because I think some people that Elder watches videos or our live service and stuff like that, they're they're 
some of them are trying to make it more like, uh, oh, you're going against somebody. And I'm sitting there saying this, no, I want, I want, I, hey, I want my president to go to heaven. I Amen. want my vice president to go to heaven. I want my congressmen, my senators, my state and federal local officials. Matter of fact, it's God's will for all men to be saved. All should come to repentance and none should perish. Come on, brother. That's so, that's his that's his will. So therefore, that's our will. Amen. Therefore, I'm not gonna play. I'm frozen. I, I want to see a pastor. I mean, not a pastor, but uh, President Obama go to heaven. I want to see the whole massive and go to heaven. That's why we in the earth. That's why we exist. So we can get people into the kingdom. Exactly. And their behavior depicts that they're not. Then we're gonna we're gonna pray for them to that end. Lord, bring them into bring them to repentance. Bring them to a place where they will accept you and receive eternal life. Elsewise, we negate our own purpose for being in the earth. I'm not here to save the world. I'm Come here on. to save human souls. <laughs> Woo! I already Amen. prayed for destruction. This thing ain't gonna last forever. Woo! Hey, we better go ahead and do our we better go ahead and do our uh, oh yeah. Cause we're already at 1046. Hey, happy Father's Day. <laughs> oh God, I'm late. Uh, uh let me get you back. Go ahead, do this communion for us. Okay. On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. He blessed it. He gave break it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat all of you. But this is my body, which shall be broken for you. So they took and they ate. And after the supper was ended, again, he took the cup, he blessed it, gave it to his disciples and said, take, drink, all of you. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It shall be shed for you and for all men, so that sins may be forgiven. So they take it and they drink. <laughs> in accordance with our Catholic brothers, and so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Amen. Stop this Professor Taylor, thank you. Amen. Have a good week. Everybody and let's pray for our president. We pray for our president. We'll live up our president. We love we our love president. Our president. We love all people. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We love him. Amen. And we pray the Lord save his everlasting soul. Amen. In Jesus' the name. Amen and amen. Amen. Stay blessed. See you later. I love you. God bless you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Amen. Well, you know, the...